And this is where we're heading today, Mount Rose, from the 22nd floor of the Atlantis Hotel, the slide, mountainside, the chutes at Mount Rose. Here at the top of Mount Rose on the slide side, looking down into the Carson Valley and a peak at Washoe Lake. Just a gorgeous spring day here at Mount Rose, looking up at the chutes. Some of the steepest terrain in all of the Sierra, 1,500 feet of vertical. Closed today, they had a slide yesterday, so it's not open. Bummer. <laughs> Diamond Peak, huge John Kids programs. Never more than five kids per instructor. We hold that ratio no matter how busy we are. Uh, those kids are then taken down to uh, Schoolhouse, which is our beginner lift at, at the other side of Lakeview, uh, where they have another little learning area set up we call the South Pole. And it's kind of a, a terrain-based little learning area. And once they feel comfortable there, they head down and actually load on the double chair. Diamond Peak at Incline, not only the first to have snowmaking in the Sierra, but the first to install a magic carpet for the kitties. Our ski journalists group getting a tour of Diamond Peak along with soon to be Hall of Famer, the original hot dogger, Wayne Wong. We got the twin sons of different mothers here. Wayne Wong, Curtis Fong, what a duo. Hot dog and the Lop Chang. <laughs> exactly. For those of you who don't know what Lop Chang is, it's the Chinese sausage. <laughs> Congratulations Thank though, you. Wayne. I mean, you are the original hot dogger. You're uh, an icon in the sport. And uh, the thing is about you, you give back. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that, Jerry. Thank you. And, and here at, at uh, Diamond Peak, you have a history as well with your camps. Yeah, uh, I've lived in the Reno Tahoe area for, uh, gosh, 22 years now. And I've been doing Learn Right from Wong camps here at Diamond Peak for about 16, 17 years. It's a, a perfect venue for us. They treat us real well. Uh, skiing usually is very, very good. And you can't beat the view from here. It's spectacular. Hey, what took them so long to get you into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> I don't know. I guess, um, you know, we, we've been bucking this Alpine thing all our lives, and finally they opened the doors up for the freestyle guys. The veil on uh, the night before and be there for on April 13th to uh, help celebrate my brother, his big induction, man, into that U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame. All right, guys, let's make some turns. All right, all right. let's go skiing. We're gone. The original hot dogger to be inducted into the Ski Hall of Fame. Look at these turns. Well, it's a liquid powder day here at Homewood. We wanted to see the views. No chance today. But maybe it's snowing up there. For Brian Schilling, the Snow sports director here at uh, Homewood, and down below it's uh, raining, but up here we got about six inches of fresh. It's uh, it, it, it's it's pretty good snow. It's it's, you know, it's good snow to make a snowball. But look at this. It's you got, deep. You got that deep, out there. Not bad. So, pretty fun. Pretty fun sp springtime powder skiing. Kind of velcroish though. Yeah. <laughs> it has a little body to it, you know, like a nice wine. Nice, <laughs> nice. 